Well, a California lawmaker is making headlines this morning after she was forced to bring her newborn to the assembly floor. Let's check in with CBS 2's Tina Patel live in Lakewood with how her move, Tina, highlights the struggles of working moms. I mean, I can't imagine bringing my newborn to work. Mm. Oh, gosh, it's crazy. And that's why this is a story that has gotten a lot of national attention. Yesterday, people like Hillary Clinton and Gabby Giffords were weighing in. And that may be why last night the Assembly Speaker, Anthony Rendon, issued an apology. Take a look at this photo that Buffy Wicks took on Monday when she brought her newborn to Sacramento with her. The Bay Area Assembly member just gave birth in late July, so she was hoping she could vote by proxy. But the Assembly Speaker told her that option was only for members at high risk for COVID. COVID, giving birth, she was told, was not a sufficient excuse. She felt strongly about a bill that would have allowed more housing to be built on single family lots. So she and her daughter took part in a debate on the assembly floor at close to midnight on Monday. We, need, we absolutely need to pass this bill. And I know it's difficult for some of you. These votes are difficult for some of you. But it's very, very important. And I just come down here in strong support of this bill and urge my colleagues. It's the simplest way we can have density that still adheres to, to neighborhood character. So please, please, please pass this bill and I'm going to go finish feeding my daughter. Thank you. Well, last night, Assembly Speaker Rendon tweeted this apology to Wicks. My intention was never to be inconsiderate towards her, her role as a legislator or her role as a mother. He went on to acknowledge that some members have unique needs and that the Assembly needs to do better at taking that into account. Now, back out here live, Wicks was not successful in getting that housing bill passed, but it does appear that she has been successful at starting a conversation about the support that new moms and new dads need in the workplace.